Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can link sheets together, how you can link files together, and how you can do a VLOOKUP from one file into another. But first of all, let's have a look at linking sheets together. So I'm going to create four sheets, and I'm going to name those sheets Jan, Feb, March, and Toto. So Feb, March, Toto. Now the first thing I'm going to do to save a bit of time is I'm going to group these sheets together. And when you group the sheets together, wherever you type in the first sheet, cascades through all the others at the same time. So avoiding the need to do paste special and things like that. And to do it, you click on the first sheet, hold your shift key down and click on the last sheet in the group. And then you'll see them change color and the word group appears at the top. Now, if you only wanted to group uh, non-adjacent ones, you could use your control key for that purpose. But I want all of these grouped. So now I just need to type in my information. So I want it to be week one to five on this first sheet, which is going to cascade through. Then a total income, expense, and balance. Balance and a title, which is going to be, let's say, sales and marketing. Sales and marketing wants to be merged and centered. Merged and centered, and I want borders on. All borders. What this bit color in yellow, or whatever color, that color. And now I need to do a few formulas. So I'll just zoom this up a little bit. So the first formula is going to work out the balance, which is going to be equals B3 minus B4. Check that formula, click the tick. Pull it over to week five. In here, I want the total, spelled income wrong. That's a common typo I do. I should add that to the autocorrect options. So I want to put a sum there. So I'm going to use a sum function. Won't pick anything up because there's no data, but you just have to select the area like so. And then just double click that down. Last thing is to highlight all of this area and format it to currency or accounting in this case. Now, now I've done it all. If I go into February, it ungroups the sheets by clicking on that. But sometimes you have to right click and ungroup. March is the same, total is the same. I want to correct, uh, correct the total slightly by getting rid of these two columns. Delete. And then putting Jan in that column and pulling it across for February and March. So I'll just get the actual totals on this sheet. And then to link to link the sheets, I just need to start with equals and go down to the sheet, January, and click on the total that I want, which in this case is in cell G3. Check that. See Jan, exclamation means sheet, G3, tick. Brings the pound sign through. I can pull that down for expense because it's just underneath it. And then I need to repeat the process for Feb. So Feb total tick pull it down and then March do exactly the same equals click down on to March total check tick pull it down so now what you need to do is test this so I'm going to go and test it by putting 10 and 5 on every sheet for week one only 10 and 5 10 and 5 and 10 and 5 and then that way you can check on the total sheet whether it's brought that through or not and you've got 10 5 10 5 that's good then 30 15 then i'm just going to put a little column chart on there like so 2d column will do and there you go ready to go and i want this title to link to that you just click on the title up on the formula bar type equals click on sales and marketing tick and whatever that is, whatever title that is, this graph will always say that. So that's linking sheets together. Now to link files together, what I've got open is a file with some data in. So let's say I want to link to this data. So go back to the first file. All I need to do is type equals and then go down into that file and click on the cell I want. And you can see that there. I haven't named this file, but that's the cell I want. And I click the tick. And it sucks it through. And if I go back into that file, that first file, 
and delete some of this data in the blue area, for example. So that's now 31,900 and whatever. And so is that one. So it's as simple as that. You just type equals and go and click into the cell on the other file that you want. Now, obviously, both files have to be open before you start that process. And when you save and close this file, on reopen, it will ask you, do you want to update links? So that means if this is changed, it will suck in the new information. So it's straightforward. It's quite common and it's very easy. Now, to do a VLOOKUP, same process is going to apply. If I just copy this title, Control-C, and just paste it in, back into this file. So let's put that there. Paste. So we've got the title there. And I'm going to type a code in here. I'll put ABC, like so. So that's the input that I want. So the VLOOKUP wants to go to the other file and bring back whatever ABC is. So let's have a quick look what ABC is. So ABC is nuts and one pound. That's what I want it to bring back. I'll just highlight that yellow so you can see what I want to bring back. So this is how it goes. You start off with your VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Open the bracket. You're looking at that code, comma. Now you just go down into the other file and highlight the table. The whole path gets put in there, look, with dollar signs everywhere. Comma. Now I want the second column of this, so I need to put a 2, comma, and I want an exact match, so I need to put a 0, or you can click on false. Then I close the bracket, click the tick, and it brings in nuts. Now, because that's dollar signed, it means I can just pull this across and change that so it's not looking at j2 it needs to be looking at i2 so i should have dollar signed that but it doesn't matter i2 and that needs to be column three so i pulled it over i2 and then that needs to be formatted to one so if i now do um, a different code a b d for example that brings in wherever a b d is off that other sheet Again, this is a very common setup. Lots of companies do this where they have information pulling from other files into a central file like so. But that's all I want to talk about in this little session. So we just went through how to link sheets together and we did grouping, how to link to two different files together and how to do a VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP between two files. So hopefully that was um, of use for, for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.